In this video, we introduced a new OpenShot Golf Simulator, as well as show off the PyTrack interface to that simulator. OpenShot, or OSG, is a new, free, open source golf simulator. OSG was originally designed and built by J.H., who has been a participant in the PyTrack project as well. Lately, a couple of other PyTrack contributors have also been pitching in. In this first part of the video, we'll show OSG running in a practice range standalone mode, uh, just by itself running some test shots. Uh, so at the outset we wanted to point out that if you're interested in using or contributing to OSG, Jay is hosting the complete project code repository on GitHub and there's a link in the comments below. Before getting to the main video I wanted to say a little bit about the history of OSG. Jay uh, told me that he actually started the project a couple of years ago. He said OSG was a kind of a combination of some of his favorite hobbies uh, including just tinkering, coding, and, and golf. Uh, like a lot of the folks working on PyTrack. Uh, he wanted to see if a, if a hobbyist such as himself could create a working golf simulator uh, cheaper than buying one. And ultimately he was able to put together a proof of concept that uh, showed a golf ball on a green and accurately could simulate the physics of, of the ball flight. Uh, but shortly after that he had set the, the project aside for a bit. Fast forward two years and Jay stumbled across the PyTrack project and lucky for us uh, that apparently got him motivated to jump back into a simulator project. He told me that he was impressed with PyTrack as a launch monitor, but he realized that what was missing was a free and open source option for the simulator. Uh, and for the technical folks out there, I'll digress just a minute, uh, after Jay initially rewrote the original program in the C programming language, uh, he wanted to push the project to use a more compatible and complete framework, and for that he decided to re-platform OSG on the uh, Godot 3D game engineer. That engine seemed like a natural choice that followed you know, the open source philosophy of, of uh, PyTrack and, and his OSG project. And uh, you know, now with a little help from a, a few folks in the growing PyTrack community, Jay said that they've been able to turn what he originally described as, as looking like just a white sphere on a big green block into a pretty realistic looking, fully functioning golf range simulator uh, where the simulator includes terrain, dynamic lighting, shot tracing, uh, data panels, and a club selector, and even session recording. Uh, in addition, in the near future, we hope to see more uh, features added, such as a data visualizer uh, for range sessions. Uh, after that, Jay hopes to begin work on a fully playable golf course. Next, we will show the OpenShot Golf Simulator connected to the PyTrack launch monitor. Uh, a couple caveats first. Uh, OSG is running a fairly on a fairly old laptop, so this probably doesn't really show off the details and the very crisp look of OSG very well. Also, the uh, uh, screen projector here is not very high resolution. Uh, and finally, I realized sort of belatedly that I had set PyTrack's diagnostic logger to still output a, an embarrassing amount of screen images uh, to the local disk drive uh, of the intermediate processing. So there's quite a, a delay between when the ball is hit and when OSG gets a message. I just wanted to make sure no one thought that the delay was in OSG. Uh, so with that said, here is a video of uh, the two systems working together. Hello, we are in the simulator room today. We have a version of OpenShot Golf up on the screen running on a PC here. We also have a version two of PyTrack here. It's a single single uh, Raspberry Pi there on the bottom. Uh, it has two six millimeter lenses on its cameras. And these are uh, just the official Pi cameras. So let's, oh, we also have a, a, a PyTrack GUI here so that we can see the results from PyTrack. So let's try this out. I'm gonna put the ball down just a little bit back from the PyTrack. So it has a little more time to catch the ball movement. My track is showing green, which means it's armed and ready to go. So let's hit a kind of a slow eight iron shot. Maybe a little to the left. Got about 
150 yards, VLA of uh, 19.5. Yeah, it's slightly left here, the horizontal launch angle. Uh, this version of open shot goes back to its original numbers fairly quickly, but we can look at the pie track GUI things. Uh, it said 67 miles an hour. Would have thought it would have gone a little further than 50 yards, but the uh, open shot golf physics are still under development, so that's not a big surprise. Uh, about 3,000 to RPM backspin. That's probably reasonable for my shot. Uh, the ball recognition wasn't great, but it was fairly good. And if you look at the spin calculations, you can see here that the calculated uh, number of degrees of spin uh, when applied to the first ball end up looking pretty much like the second ball. It, pie track takes two balls and then tries to figure out which angle will make the first ball turn into the second ball.